Gambling is only considered an addiction if you are bad at it. That's because it ruins your life. You can be addicted to bettering your community but people won't call it that because it's helping you. Basically everyone is bad at it though. Card games are a bit different because there is skill and strategy involved. But there are very few people that make a living off of say sports betting. If you're good at gambling you're not actually gambling. Gambling is a problem when you think you can be good at it. Hearing voices is only bad if you don't like what they're saying. You can be bad at gambling and it not be an addiction. In fact, being bad at gambling may actually help an individual avoid an addiction. Many times, an initial big win will set an individual down a path of gambling addiction because they are constantly trying to get the feeling of a big win again. It only becomes a gambling addiction if it starts to be detrimental to an individual's life. E.g. lost all savings to gambling, go into debt, stealing from family to fuel a gambling addiction, etc. Laughs in WSB Same with drugs, winking face. Take it from me man. It can ruin your life even if you're a winner. Those who are drawn to gambling as an activity quickly become addicted to it. And with today's smartphones with online betting available 24-7 it takes over everything in your life. You'd rather gamble than spend time with loved ones, sleep, see friends, or do anything else for that matter. Even when you are spending time with others, you're checking scores and looking for good live bets. Win or lose, it ruins your life. Tell that to Skylar White. This is true of a shocking amount of addictions. Their ISNT being good at it. It's not a skill you learn or can be talented with. It's just luck that eventually run out. It's an addiction either way if you can't walk away from it. The thing is, statistically speaking, you're going to be bad at it if you do it enough. Unless you're really good at sports betting, there's no such thing as being good at gambling. The games at a casino are deliberately not really based on skill. And the house always has a significant advantage. On a long enough timeline, won't all gamblers lose? Nobody is good at gambling. No matter how much you think you might be up, the house always wins. Not strictly true. I quit gambling even though I was making money. When online poker first became a thing it was much easier to win money than it is nowadays with a lot of bad players giving it a whirl. I used to supplement my regular income quite well for a while. The problem was that I could no longer sleep due to the adrenaline of big wins and indeed big losses. The best time to play was when people had drunk a few drinks so midnight was perfect to catch poor plays. Sometimes though you need to wait for a good hand or a bad play and I would stay up until 4 a.m. Getting up for work at 7 a.m. I would go to bed at around 4 with adrenaline pumping through my veins and it destroyed me. I was most definitely an addict but I wasn't losing money. Overall, I obviously had bad days too. This is not true at all. One big jackpot affects the brain in the same way cocaine does. The serotonin rush makes that person yearn for another, and another, and another. IDK man you may go from Kaike Guru he is pretty damn good at gambling but it's clearly an addiction. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.